Granite Zaka and Scott McTominay. Granite Zaka. 2011 present, tournaments and captaincy before making his international debut for Switzerland, Zaka was still undecided whether to play for his birth country or Albania, and he complained to the Albanian sports media that FSHF was ignoring him while the Swiss Football Association was showing much more interest. 61. Zaka debuted for Switzerland at Wembley Stadium against England in a 2-2 UEFA Euro 2012 qualification draw on 4 June 2011, 62, on November 15, 2011, during his sixth international appearance, he scored his first international goal in the 1-0 away win against Luxembourg at the Stade José Barthel, 63. Switzerland also tried to select Zaka to participate in the 2012 Olympic football tournament, but he opted to stay at his new club for pre-season training. 64. He participated in all 10 of Switzerland's 2014 FIFA World Cup qualification campaign matches, scoring both goals in a 2-0 defeat of Slovenia. 65. On June 2, 2014. Zaka was named in Switzerland's 2014 World Cup squad by national coach Otmar Hitzfeld, 66. In the team's second match, Zaka scored in a 5-2 loss to France, 67. Zaka was selected for Euro 2016, where Switzerland's campaign opened against Albania in Lens. Zaka, whose team won 1-0, was playing against his brother Tolland. He was voted the man of the match. 68, Zaka played every minute of Switzerland's campaign, which ended in the round of 16 with a loss to Poland at the Stade Geoffrey Gachard, after a 1-1 draw he was the only player to not score in the penalty shootout, shooting wide, 69. Ahead of the 2018 World Cup qualifiers, there was speculation that Zaka could switch his allegiance to represent Kosovo, which had been accepted as a full member of FIFA and were allowed to play competitive matches for the first time. Zaka, however, published an open letter stating that his participation in Euro 2016 had disqualified him from changing his allegiance, and he was thus tied to Switzerland. 70. Zaka was named in manager Vladimir Petkovic's 23-man Swiss squad for the 2018 FIFA World Cup in Russia. 71. On June 22, he equalized with a long-range strike as the Swiss came from behind to defeat Serbia 2-1 in their second game. He and fellow goalscorer Zerdan Shakiri, who is also of Kosovan descent, celebrated their goals by making an eagle gesture resembling the double-headed eagle of the Albanian flag, 72, 73, 74, 75. FIFA fined each player 10,000 Swiss francs for unsporting behavior contrary to the principles of fair play. 76, 77. Zaka was appointed as a temporary captain by Vladimir Petkovic in the absence of Stefan Licksteiner, which caused him to be criticized by former Swiss international Stefan Henchaz, who claimed that Zaka could not properly represent Switzerland due to his Albanian heritage, instead, suggesting that Licksteiner, Jan Sommer, or Fabian Schar serve as captain. 78. In September 2019, Zaka offered his captaincy to Zerdan Shakiri in an effort to get him to return to the national side. 79. In June 2021, Zaka was selected for the Switzerland squad which would compete in Euro 2020. 80. In November 2022, Zaka was selected for the 26 man Switzerland squad for the 2022 FIFA World Cup in Qatar. 81. Personal Life In July 2017, Zaka married his long-term partner, Leonida Lekage, 82, they have two daughters, born in 2019, 83, and 2021, 84. Scott McTominay Manchester United Youth Career McTominay was associated with the Manchester United Academy from the age of five after attending the club's development centre in Preston, for, having played as a centre forward in the earlier years of his youth career, McTominay converted to a central midfield role under Warren Joyce, 5, he signed his first professional contract in July 2013, 6. He made seven appearances for the under-18s between 2013 and 2015, but struggled due to his small size, 
7, McTominay missed most of the 2014-15 season due to injuries relating to growth and development issues, growing 14 inches within two years, 8. McTominay struggled again during the 2015-16 season, making 11 appearances across the under-19s and under-21s, but commanded a place in the team the following season with three goals in 21 games prior to his senior call-up, 7. 2016-17 season. On April 30, 2017, McTominay was named on the substitutes bench for a match against Swansea City in the Premier League. He made his first Premier League appearance on May 7, coming on as a substitute against Arsenal, 9, before starting Manchester United's final Premier League match of the season on May 21, a 2-0 win at home to Crystal Palace, 10, international career. Eligibility McTominay was born in England but qualifies for Scotland through his father, who is from Helensburgh, 40. McTominay attended training camps with the Scottish youth sides. In November 2017, McTominay told Scottish Football Association Performance Director Malky McKay that he wanted to concentrate on securing a place in the Manchester United first team, 41. Speaking in February 2018, club manager Jose Mourinho suggested that new Scotland manager Alex McLeish should select McTominay because it looks like England is missing him. 42. McTominay pledged his future to Scotland and was selected in their squad for two friendlies in March, 43, 44, later that month. McTominay's grandfather revealed Sir Alex Ferguson wanted him to represent Scotland. Manchester United Academy coach Brian McClare explained, McLeish made a huge effort getting to Carrington to meet up with him, because it was in the middle of the bad weather that we had. He made it, put a case. Gareth Southgate sent him a text. 45. McTominay said of the conversation with McLeish, he traveled a hell of a long way to come and speak with me and I have to thank him for that. The conversation we had was relatively simple. I wanted to play for Scotland and I always have done since I was a young boy and it was an incredibly proud moment for me when he did call me up and hopefully I can kick on and do well. 46. Debut. On March 23, McTominay was one of four players to be given their international debuts in McLeish's first game in charge, 47, he played the first 57 minutes in a 1-0 friendly defeat to Costa Rica before being replaced by Stuart Armstrong, 48, he made his first competitive appearance for Scotland in September 2018, as a 79th-minute substitute for Callum McGregor in a 2-0 win against Albania, 49, he was selected for international duty again in November 2019, but had to withdraw due to injury, 50. Euro 2020 For the international games played in September 2020, McTominay was used as a centre-back in a three-man defence, 51, the Times commented that McTominay had the physique needed for the position, but had struggled to adapt to the role, 51. He continued in this role during the October 2020 internationals, and the daily record said that there were indications that his play had improved. 52. He converted both his penalties in the shootouts against Israel, and in the final playoff against Serbia. Helping Scotland qualify for their first tournament in 23 years. McTominay was named by Steve Clark in the Scotland squad for the Euro 2020 finals, 53. He started all three Group D games against the Czech Republic, England, and Croatia, however, Scotland failed to qualify for the knockout stages. 2022 World Cup Qualification McTominay scored his first international goal on October 9, 2021, an injury-time winner against Israel in a 2022 World Cup qualifier, 54. Euro 2024 on March 25, 2023, he scored a late brace in a 3-0 win over Cyprus in the first game of UEFA Euro 2024 qualifying, 55, three days later he scored another brace in a 2-0 win over Spain, his country's first win against that opponent since 1984, 56. 
McTominay scored his fifth goal of the qualifying group during a 2-0 win against